Hello and welcome back to the Schmuseum. Exciting times. We have our lifts here at the Schmuseum. The Benpack Auto Stacker A6Ws, the four of them that have been installed by the guys at Liftmaster. Now these are all in place since the last update when the installation was getting underway. They've basically been drilled down so they're now fixed in position. You can see we've got the control boxes behind which are of course how we managed to operate each one individually. We've also got the finishing plates at the front of course which you need to drive up to get the cars actually onto them but today is going to be a bit of testing and putting cars on them for the first time ever along with some of the other pretty cool things that we've got now here at the Schmuseum as well. This is something we've been waiting a long time for over the moon that these are now in the start of the build really of the garage the first fixed items to have here at the Schmuseum and today we're going to see what they look like loaded up with cars. If we come around to the back, I basically decided exactly where all of these were going to go. I was measuring it out to make sure that we've got the right amount of space down the back wall to make sure that when the cars are up here at the top, you can still comfortably walk behind them. Obviously, the way this works is the rear wheels basically sit in this track at the very back. You're prevented, obviously, from going off the back of it, and it means that everything will be nicely lined up. Then back here, obviously everything needs to be finished and signed off properly. We have the individual control boxes, which we'll play around with a little bit later to do everything completely properly. Um, but it's really simple from around the back, all neat and tidy, basically future-proofed, ready to potentially have some more down the line with enough space as well around the end to walk around. But exactly how we were intending it, and uh, it's just so cool, especially with this very big flat floor that you effectively get across the top, the way this works, looks really smart much smarter i think than having the more traditional four posts let's say because from the front we'll get a completely clean view of all of the cars they can support even the weight of the g63 they can go to 2.1 meters high so somewhere about here um i mean I, I actually can't believe how cool these are like it's really awesome having them here so crack on final parts of the installation then it'll be time to try it with cars over this way, as I mentioned, a few other goodies. We've got the quick jacks, we've got some more boxes of different things, all of which we're going to open up and experiment with and try and learn. Maybe not all literally today. Um, just, yeah, lots of great stuff to have at the garage. Things we really needed to make this a proper garage. But now that these are in, obviously the plan, maybe down the line we have a few more here, and then it's going to be mezzanine time quite soon. Um, for now, yeah, the guys will crack on, get all of these fully up and running. The first of the four lifts are now fully wired up and ready, so we are going to try some of the cars out. We've taken all of the covers and trickles off, so everything looking pretty colourful around here right now. First up, though, is going to be the GT8. We have planned the lineup and exactly how we're going to do this, and who doesn't love a cold start? So come on, Tom, let's hear it. Perfect. Ludicrous. So the GT8 is going to go on the first, and this is one of the first ones to try because of the very low front splitter. If this can get on, then anything can get on. Technically, I'm going to need to focus, though, to guide Tom to make sure that we uh, get this right. But we're going to have the GT8, the Roadster, the Heritage RS and the C63 up top and then put the four that are behind me down at the bottom. Um, I don't know what the best technique for this is going to be other than maybe I make the most of the uh, STO being our... Uh, tripod just here <laughs> right this is going to be the ultimate test the ultimate ultimate test get it lined up pretty straight right this is good this is going well this is going well gt8 is on and heading up then so this is where we have a few different locking points with the auto stackers they have five different levels effectively at which they can be locked to i guess we're going to be working out in due course exactly which of those we're going to be using and it's going to sit pretty clearly up there this is actually really cool to see the first car to be lifted here at the museum is the gt8 and we're going to have a run of four up top we'll put four underneath them as well and thankfully no issues with the splitter and also no issues at the rear of it either the diffuser clears over these protective pieces and then the tires obviously sit back to make sure that works as well but yeah i guess we're gonna watch the wings eventually with the roof but that's looking pretty good so that's number three sounds about right with that in place next up is the gtr roadster i'm gonna pop this right alongside not quite as loud as the gta but remember we did go to opus and install the valve control switch on that so at least it sounds 
a little bit more lively and angry than it would have done. Let's try and get this lined up perfectly for lift number three. Gosh, this is, look at that. Look at that up in the air. That's on position four in the end we went for. Um, we'll shuffle it later. Let's get this up. Perfect, rear wheels up, small turn that way, straight, straight. Take it steady. I'm gonna come around towards the back because we're gonna to have to watch this one down in exactly the same way. Carefully does it for the first go to make sure that the diffuser, perfect. So it sits down. The way that it's ramped actually means that the yellow piece comes up under the diffuser. Perfect, it's in, it's good, it's gravy learning experience as we do it for the first time. Up goes number two then. For the moment, we'll also have it on the fourth lock stop, but um, it feels a little bit surreal and crazy to be doing this with the cars. Obviously, the stackers are made exactly for this purpose and we're doubling up the storage here in the garage. This is, oh, this is really cool. This feels very serious as these go up, so. GTR up in a second and interestingly the way the rear wheels are supported down at the rear like that actually makes the car sit completely flat but still having this slightly sloped entry to make it that touch easier to get the cars actually up in the first place. Oh imagine looking at this from the mezzanine over at the other end. That's going to look so cool. Wow, love it. Nearly in position. This is just running off regular mains as well. You go slightly above, drop it back down, and it sits on the locks. Done, perfect. Rolling on to the next, the C63 Black Series. Also going up top, this should be fairly easy, but also sounds mega. Yes, beautiful. Right, let me come back through, escape out this way. Get these, oh, look at that. Look at that view from here. This is the first test with all of the cars. Cannot believe how cool this looks. Back comes the lovely burble of the C63 Black Series. So this is where we've got to watch the amount of available space. It's going to get difficult. Straight on. Nice. Perfect, beautiful. C63 Black Series in position. Nice, that was easy. Up goes number three. We're making some good progress here. I think just the last one finishing being wired up. Then we'll be able to get a car there as well and fill in the spaces underneath. It's my turn to try with the Focus this time, tucked away in the corner, to go at the very end, which is probably gonna be a little bit difficult to do the maneuvering, but this is all learning about how we're gonna position the cars afterwards. Um, I always love this thing, so let's go. Get it out on the ramps. Should we get a start up? Let's come around. There it is. Here we go then. So three of the cars, GT8, GTL Roadster and C63 on the ramp. And as I've discovered already, a manual is certainly not the easiest to back on there for the first time. I probably should have started with an auto, but it is what it is. So let's see how I mean, he gets on. It's up there. So Annoyingly, I'm sure he'll be absolutely fine, right? The focus is yeah, we not should too bad. We probably move out of the way. We probably should. So we don't get run over. Here we go. All the way back. You can do the guiding. I'm going to focus on filming. Yes. I think that's, so we've learned a little bit. So he's, to do it. he's going to have to aim basically at the wall and come forward so we can get it straight enough this to get so it on cool. the ramp. So and watching out for any other boxes and goodies and things that we have yes. lying around. Yeah, you wouldn't want to hit that. That's, Not I mean, metal edges, 174 even. kilos. Yeah. So, how are we looking? Look about there. That's pretty so good. Little bit, just a little bit, yeah. Not bad, not bad. Yeah. This is pretty good oh. it's all going well a few small adjustments and then if we come round we should see this drop so go on keeper coming back okay. keep going you, you're almost dropping into the tray there we go and you're there rolling in and there you are you're on the yellow bits perfect easy easy he says easy yes 
Easy, Tim. So once Tim is I out... Think, I think it's probably easier once you've watched someone do it three times over. Just say it. It probably is. So once Tim is out of the way, is everyone clear? So We on. are. Handbrake on? Yeah. Hope, I, I hope so. Hopefully. Yeah. Yeah. Stand back. <laughs> Up we go. I jump on it. I mean, why not? I mean... Get a nice <laughs> view. You would get a nice view. There you go. This is so cool. It's just so exciting. I mean, we've been waiting for this for, for quite a while. I mean, you guys have been waiting for this for quite a while now as well, and they're finally here. And, well, time to get some epic photos. Yeah, we'll have to get a photo of all, all these four. And I yes. assume put some things underneath, maybe? I think next we're going to put some things underneath and see how it looks. Now, I may have a bit of a confession to make. I'm sure all of you guys have seen the video when we took the GR Yaris out into the field. Now... I might actually have taken the focus out there just for some fun as well. And now that we've got it up on the ramp. It's funny that we haven't seen it. Before. <laughs> I'm sure you guys can see there's still some evidence of field underneath. Now, it wasn't just for fun. I'm sure if you have a look on some of the pages, there was also some photos of this with some pumpkins for Halloween, which is exactly why we were out there. It was just a bonus to have some fun as well. I mean, it looks kind of cool bit money, but yeah, maybe something that We'll have to jack up at some point and yes. have a proper clean. I think, I think we probably need to get that under tray off. Well, I probably need to get that under tray off. Give it a good clean up and get that back on. And we may have something to help with that, I which we'll take a look say, at. We probably yes. have the perfect thing, which I believe is over here still somewhere. somewhere. We'll find the right box and we'll show you guys in a little bit. But for now, I think we're going to go and grab some lunch real quick and then get some more cars under the bottom. It's time to put the cars underneath, which is going to be quite fun with all of these. And... I could say let's do the center first, but that would obviously be dumb. I do need to just pack away uh, the C-Tech that we have out here at the moment. Everything's PPF'd, do not fear about that. We're trying to be as organized as we can doing this with all of the chargers and covers and that kind of thing to make sure that they're all going to end up in roughly the right place. But now I'm just gonna put it straight in the boot of the car. But who doesn't love a cold start of this? And then I'm gonna put this one, if I can, under the Heritage RS at the far right. This might be brave. Do you think I can do it? I think so. I take it it would be stupid to do this because it's kind of trapped in by, <laughs> by all of these. <laughs> yeah, let's get this started and get this moved over. And because SLS, do you know how I'm gonna move it? Uh, Obviously. Of Obviously. <laughs> right, cold Here start time. Then. That's so good. Right. Yeah, this is, this is how Tim likes to move the SLS around the garage. Door open, not actually sitting on his seat. This, this is, is the way to do put, it, right? This is where you put your feet out while you're moving a car. Yeah, he he's goes right in the whip. <laughs> so, and the wipers are on. And running that's, the wipers in the process. That's why you don't do it, Tim. It tells me vehicle rolling. Okay, feet in. Yeah, feet in. Let's be smart. There is a STO there. No wheel spins, Tim. This is where I need to get in properly. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. Whew. Right. It says properly, the door's not even shut, but... This works. This works. This looks good then. Straight back into the space. Yeah, this is cool. Let's come around and watch. It's a bit of a squeeze. This car is very wide. <laughs> so the way we need to do this, to have everything lined up perfectly, is when the door opens, it's just in front of that. Just cool. in front of the X. Just in front of the X. Maybe we can do it with the door up. Yeah, let's do it with the door up. Well, does that work or do you want to go closer? That'll do. Right, I shall take the door from you. Oh, I forgot to close the windows. If you okay. that quickly. Have you let go of the door yet? Uh, well, I've oh. got to confess, the yes. hydraulic struts on this side aren't working so well. Okay, well, we can we see. We might need to get these oh, replaced. Wow, this is... Oh, that's it. Is that fully open? Look, look where the mirror goes into. Right into wow. the gap. I didn't need to worry at all. No. It just, the door opens fully underneath, even with the cross. Well, that's convenient. Maybe not if you were back a bit further, but right No, but here. that's how it's always going to be, because this gives you this really cool view. True, it does, it does. Over the cars. God. Oh, wow. oh that feels so cool right now. Look at that. You kind of have to like step away just to be able to see 
The major problem with this is that when we've put all of those under there, this, is, this yeah, room is this just, well, we can play football again. We can. Safely. A bit more safely, slightly safely. So the STO is going to go next. Do I have the Lambo key? Do, do, do. Let's do it. This is pretty dirty at the moment because I've actually had it out recently. Um, Been enjoying it. Yeah, and the weather's not so good. At least I went to the correct side of the car. I was a little bit like left-hand drive, right-hand drive. At least I've come to the right place of the car, which is right behind it. Let's go. You forget how loud that is. Wow. That's so loud. Here we go then. This is so cool. Oh, look at this. Look at this. Back, back, uh, wow! That's not so bad. So when you're in a mid-engine car, you know, we've got loads of space. Loads of room. I actually didn't realise it. And even if there was a car parked there, the door can still be open this far. Yeah, yeah, 100%. I actually think it's so much easier than I expected. Like with this, which is slightly narrower than the SLS, I could actually see perfectly reversing. Like I didn't need you guiding me. I yeah. could just see... Just have to watch out with obviously the grease for the uh, tracks here. Yep, not to step, stand in it. Don't step in the grease. If you step in the grease here, it goes all in the cars. So. Oh, this is gonna be so this cool. Is this is like, this is like museum dream come true right now. I know. This, this is so cool. This is so like, so ridiculously cool. <laughs> I had visions of this for like the last two years, more than two years. I don't, there's not much to say, is there? It, well, I think everyone's a little bit speechless of how cool this looks. <laughs> we've said it many times that obviously we've been in here for a while without... It's been yeah. a barn, essentially, with a load of cars in. But now the lifts are in, even without the cars on, it was cool. But now we're seeing it with oh, cars on mad. and putting them underneath. This is mad. Let's get the center in. Time for the center. Cool. Rolling center up next. Place. Okay. No pressure. Yeah. Just... It should fit fine, yeah. right? Squeeze in. Love a good fall start. Into space underneath the GTR Roadster. There we go. And Tom has joined us. After nearly being run over by Tim. Look at this. Let's make sure the centre door opens fine. I'm sure it will. Now opening the door again. Absolutely fine, nowhere near. Oh, it's hard work getting out of the center. Not enough room for this. How am I gonna manage? Oh, I'm falling out. I should do it um, uh, Wolf of Wall Street style. Yeah, no. apart from it was just easy. The only thing you gotta watch out for, by the way, grease on here. Yeah, don't wanna yeah. tread in that. You don't wanna step in that. Um, As you discovered earlier on. Yeah. <laughs> oh, you tried in the- I, I did lightly catch it when he, outside. He's and... speaking from experience. Oh, well, <laughs> right. One more. You doing it, LT? Uh, the most difficult one of the supercars to get out of. Ah, the door will open cleanly. It'll and just the be biggest like... guy in it. Yeah, let's give it a go. Go on. <laughs> it's going to be a laugh for you guys, if anything. Wow, look at this. <laughs> look at this. Next is the LT then. Let's have a cold start. This thing is a lot louder than you would think. Every time we started it recently, we always go, this thing is very loud. Right, so Tim's in charge of directions and watching. Tom is in charge of driving and driving, making sure that it doesn't go into uh, the lift. But look how cool this is from where I am now. It is really hard to explain how amazing it is to have these in. Like this is ultimate dream garage stuff right here. There you go then. LT is on its way in. And now straight right, back. this is going well, this is going very well. Do, 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 stop. Nice. Look at that. <laughs> look at this. Look at this, look how cool this is. <laughs> it's so cool, this is ridiculous. Oh, we've made a. The door opens perfectly again. It just makes life too easy, really. Yeah. And this is on lock number four, so they can go one more like one higher. step higher, but and this we, is... We've got the headroom as well if we wanted to go one more up. 
And the beauty yeah. of it is even with the door fully open, even if there was another car here. Yeah, I was just saying. Ample space. With the STO, makes life quite easy. I'm actually impressed because one of my biggest fears was that there are different types of lifts, lifts right? The four post lifts are much easier to open the door, but aren't so pretty to look at when you've got the car stacked. Yeah. Whereas the uh, scissor style lift, like the auto stacker. This just works well, I have to it? say, I think, obviously we were speaking with Ben Pack on different options. And I really think they've suggested the ideal solution yeah. for us. But look, look, when you're standing here and you just look through, it's just like this floating upper deck. Yeah. But they look nice as well. Like even from the side, step the cross, back, st step back over here and come good. and see it all. Do you know what would probably be really cool? And we should probably make Brad do it at some point is go outside and just see the impact when you now walk in with this here. <laughs> yeah, we'll go outside the in a second. You walk through the front door, this is going to be, this is now what your eyes are going to be drawn to immediately. Right, let's come back. Tim, look at that. <laughs> <sighs> but like you said, this space is now looking pretty empty. Very open. Apart Tom, where's the football? There's less for you to hit. Where are I the footballs? I don't know. I think it's hiding behind We the, hit it. It's behind the F1 hit, car. We've hidden it from you. We actually did hide it from you, yeah. It's yes. down behind the F1 oh, car. Oh, yeah, I know where it is. Is it the blue one? No, this is the no, other one. I don't know. Where's the blue one? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> this one, which has been slightly ruined. I may have took the black and white cover off of it. Oh, God. For no real reason. <laughs> Tim just wants to show off that he can actually do some kind Still of. Still going! Basically. Oh. Goal. The thing is, for someone who doesn't play sports, he's annoyingly good <laughs> at just doing something. Your turn. <laughs> this, this is just a disaster wasting time. It is, it is, right. Anyway, so this looks cool, but we've also got more things from Benpack to have a look at. We, we do. We've got quite a few lovely, helpful things. Where do we things. start? Um, maybe come over to this end. The main thing that was really high on our um, agenda, let's say, if I just move all of this stuff out of the way, yep. is the quick jack. Now, the benefit of the quick jack is rather than using a traditional low jack for a single corner of the car, as you can see, you basically slide the whole thing under and can lift up a car to quickly change all four wheels at once. Don't know what that bolts from, but hopefully That's not from, from the Sega Rally. <laughs> from the Sega Rally, hopefully not from a lift. I'll pop it this for the there right side. We were playing with this earlier. And as you can see from the screens, it's misbehaving again. Oh, great. So with having a stack of wheels and tires and things. Is that a Ben Pack center pot? <laughs> no, that's just a dead center part. Yeah, but, center part. <laughs> you know, we've got a spare set of wheels for the GT Black Series, the other cars and things around. Obviously, we don't have a tire machine. We're not going to be doing balancing and stuff here. We'll go to whoops for that. But this is going to make life for winter tires, for track tires, for quick swap stuff, um, and other things as well, being able to get under for exhaust, things we'll like take that. Take a bumper off. It means we yeah. can get it in the air so much easier than just jacking up one part and then axle stands, etc. Yeah, so we've got that. Over this away, we've also got a couple of proper floor jacks to lift up one corner if we need to, as well as some axle stands. Again, all quite important stuff. All comes in handy. And we've got a few boxes of other goodies, which we're probably going to get to down the line, as opposed to right now. So, one for the future. So, huge thanks to Ben Pack for all of this. This is absolutely incredible. And it really transforms the garage, and it's going to transform our lives being here as well. And it's just incredible. It's just amazing. After all of this, the go-kart and the scooter have come out. Are you ready, guys? Yeah. Three, two, one, go! We had a little bit of a jump start from Tom, but Tom is off. The go-kart, the electric silence, but we've got the scooter. Brad's coming around on the inside. Figure of Alu, Brad is off. Brad is off. Brad has got all the power. Tom's catching him as they get towards the gate, and Brad, Brad don't crash, don't crash. Brad has won victory. <laughs> Victory lap. Victory lap to the this, this reminds me of the chair races. Don't crash into a Lamborghini. Thank you. I'm not Brad. I don't crash the go kart. That's only him that crashes it. No, I've never crashed the go kart. No, not like multiple times. Anyway, this one's have this fully charged again, but I lost and I'm not happy. <laughs> All the space in the world. Woo! I can't do that on this. this are we, are so we being children? This is such a rant. We've just been playing football for the last like 10 minutes. 
and now this. Speaking of football, where are they? I mean, we live behind the Sega Rally. What children do, but in real life, yes, we're being children. <laughs> <laughs> Oh dear, oh dear, this is going wrong. I mean, it's kind of a goal. It's a goal, as far as I'm concerned. <laughs> I don't know what's happening anymore. What a way to spend... Oh, whoops. That's gone wrong. <laughs> Where is the other one? Oh, over there. What is this video clip? That has been quite the day. To get these up and running properly, I want to say a huge thanks to Ben Pack again, the Autostacker A6W. Just to give a quick summary, the wider frame, you can see with cars like this, they fit absolutely fine. I've been very happy to see that the doors can open so easily because obviously this is going to be, well, it is a garage of cars that are in constant use. It's not just for long-term storage or museum. I know the name, we'll talk about that another day, but like this, it's superb. It's absolutely superb. And the only problem now is how much space we have. With the cars that are here, obviously quite a few missing and a few due soon. Yeah, we've got more space than we need for the moment, but I'm sure if I know myself, that's gonna be filled very, very quickly. So watch this space is all I'm gonna say at this time. Something might be missing that we don't know about yet. Right, anyway, enough waffle. Um, yeah, huge thanks again to Ben Pack. What a day, great to have these up and running. So we'll leave it there. Thanks for watching, until next time.